So everybody is still sleeping. I'm being quiet here in the bathroom. But it's day four. You know, we were supposed to go to Cabo yesterday. That was canceled. And uh, today is another day at sea. So I'm, I'm starting to think that this is going to turn out to be the cruise to nowhere. We're just going to cruise around the ocean and then end up back in Long Beach in seven days. So we'll see. We're supposed to be in Puerto Vallarta tomorrow. So I'm optimistic about that. We're going to make another, uh, just make the best of today. We're going to spend the day in the ocean or the ship is going to be floating around in the ocean. So we'll go to the pool, do some, uh, maybe some bingo, go to the show tonight, go to dinner. We'll have fun. Personally, I could be on a cruise ship floating around the ocean and I'm still going to have a great time. So we'll just make the best of it. This is our current position out in the middle of the ocean to avoid Hurricane Newton. I'm starting to think this is going to end up being the cruise to nowhere because we've been on the boat now Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days and we have yet to hit a destination. They had to cancel Cabo yesterday, Mazatlan today, hoping that we're still going to be able to go to Puerto Vallarta tomorrow. Um, the hurricane doesn't look bad because obviously we've gone way out in the middle of the ocean. We're doing a big long half circle around it, but it's a little rough in Cabo and Mazatlan right now. Aiden, what are you doing? You're having fun. You could be on a cruise to nowhere. You don't Mommy. care. Yeah, you don't. Thank you. Yeah, you enjoying yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got another sea day. Erica's got some bingo games that she wants to go play later today. Um, Aiden's got a date at the kids camp or the pool. Maybe we'll go to the pool again. I have got a date with some sunblock because I got fried yesterday. Absolutely fried. My mommy, mommy. I'm almost well done. Crispy.
and the gentleman himself is 85 years old. He goes to county fair, he's retired military. He's been in the Air Force for 30 years. He's retired military. And he sees the big sign at the county fair that says, buy plane rides, 10 bucks. He turns around to his wife, he goes, darling, buy plane rides, 10 bucks. I've not flown for 30 years. Can I go on that bike ride? That's going to be amazing. She looks at him and she looks at the purse. She looks rifle through a cash. She goes, I've got 12 bucks. That's all we have. 10 bucks is 10 bucks. 10 bucks is a lot of money. That's our whole day. 10 bucks is 10 bucks. He looks at her and goes, darling, 30 years I've been retired. I flew in the military and looked after our troops for 30 years. Can I have 10 bucks? And she goes, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. You're not having 10 bucks? No, no, no. Not happening. They argue, they bicker for hours and hours and hours. The pilot oversees them bickering. He thinks nothing of it. A couple of hours later, the, the guy comes back. She looks at her purse. She's got $11. That's right, the cheap bitch only spent a dollar in a year in about four hours with her money. He goes, ah, five million hours, it's still 10 bucks. You're not having 10 bucks, it's 10 bucks. That's all we have. That's food for the next week. Not having it. The pilot comes over and goes, you know what, I'll do you both a deal. Do you a deal. Sir, I heard, and I see your, I see your uniform. You, you supported our troops for 30 years, we'll take you a deal. If you and your wife can survive one hour in this biplane ride without screaming, I'll give it you for free. No 10 bucks, keep it 10 bucks yourself. That's a great deal, so they agree. So they get in the biplane ride, and the pilot gets on the runway and he takes off. He's going 9,000 miles an hour down the runway. He takes off, he gets about 15 feet away, he clips a few trees, loops the rope barrels, goes as high as he can, drops back to the earth, and not a sound. Not a sound. The guy's looking around, he's going, she's not screaming once. This fucking girl likes his 10 bucks. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Plane lands, the guy finally looks back, and his wife is gone. <laughs> Pilot turns around and goes, holy shit, what happened? He goes, well, that first barrel roll, she fell out. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but 10 bucks is 10 bucks. <laughs>